What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to a whiff of this. This is where I check out new and old fragrances. I unbox them, review them, get my first impressions. And after that, I smell them on skin and on paper. Today, I'm gonna be checking out a new fragrance from a smaller house. This is really more like a lifestyle brand, but he makes some beautiful uh, fragrances. This one is gonna be none other than Secret 47 from Savoir Fair. Really quick about this brand, shout out to Chris Classic. He's the one who is pretty much like the CEO of the brand. He posted about this fragrance uh, February 1st, 2024, so this year. I'm recording this on Saturday, February 17th, uh, mainly because he actually was having shipping problems. So he had just got his boxes. So the presentation, so pretty much the boxes that go, or the fragrances that the boxes go in, he didn't have any more left, which was like a good thing and a bad thing because he couldn't fulfill the order like he needed to. I had a little issues with USPS because they always just don't know what they're doing, but I still got the package. Uh, it didn't take too long at all, and that was with regular uh, UPS ground. Like I said, this is more of a lifestyle brand, so he doesn't just sell uh, fragrances. He also sells sunglasses, hats, uh, a couple of clothing like hoodies and like sweatpants. It's a really dope brand and I really want to get more stuff from just his entire collection. I really need more of his fragrances though because I only have one and uh, that one is none other than Soul Cafe. This beautiful scent right here. Soul Cafe is simply amazing and it is pretty much one of my longest lasting fragrances. So Chris, if you're watching this video, if you could send me a little sample pack, I would very much so appreciate it because I really want to check out some more of the uh, fragrances he has. There's one called like Sin uh, and Santo, Santo Sage or something. It's really, it has a wild name, but I really want to check that one out. But Every time I want to get like the variety pack, he's always out of it. So the other new fragrance that is out too is called Love Suede. I may check that one out as well, but I wanted to see Secret 47 first because the visuals from it, when he posted the uh, reel on Instagram, it was so sensual. Uh, he had this lady in like the lingerie. It was crazy. It was really good. I posted uh, maybe in one of the corners over here so you all can kind of see what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. And like I said, we're going to smell it on skin and on paper. I'm also going to go over the notes so you all kind of know what to expect. And um, yeah, we'll get into it. Alrighty. So on the website, it is currently going for about $150. Uh, the price for the other fragrances, it is a good thing. They've actually gone down just a little bit. I think they're about like $135 to like $140. So they're maybe like $10, $20 less, which, is, which isn't bad at all. I mean, they come in 50 milliliters. Uh, I forgot what that is in ounces. I think it's like 1.7 ounces, if I'm correct. But yeah, so Secret 47 is an eau de parfum. The description of this one says, an expression of carnal scent made between sensual lovers, highly intimate, intense, inviting, and unique, extremely mysterious and strong. Nothing more to tell, only to be experienced. That's a hell of a uh, description for a fragrance, and I am very intrigued on it. So the notes in here are geranium, ginger, myrrh, jasmine, oak, wood, atlas cedar. So it's gonna be woody, I can already tell. Uh, mimosa, oak moss, tobacco, fir balsam, balsam, hold on, balsam? I think that's right. Violet, black currant, and I don't know what this is. Bushu oil, buku oil? Very hard to read that. I don't know if y'all could even see that. I'll have to look up what that one is. Some of these notes, I do not know what they even smell like. I know geranium, ginger, myrrh. I know jasmine and, you know, oak and cedar and whatnot. But it seems like this is going to be more of a woody, you know, I'm, I am i don't know. Because all his fragrances, they can be very different. So enough talking. Let me go ahead and unbox this thing. I do smell something already. I don't know what I'm smelling. If it's this. No, it's not the paper. So it is a fragrance. So I do smell it already. So he shows all some other fragrances on here. I don't know if you all can read that or not, but pretty much it says Soul Cafe, Risky Rose, Sin Santo, and Sage. That's the one that I was talking about. Bo Noor, Bill Noor. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Bill Noor and uh, Ascension. So that's like some of the fragrances he has. He has a lot more now though. Oh, wow. Really dope. Oh, wow. I appreciate that, Chris. He gave me some uh, test strips. So I was going to use my own test strip because I have like a boatload of them now, but he gave me his own with his own brand on it. That's super dope. I appreciate that, Chris. This is what was really holding him up was the packaging. It's crazy that all he needed was the box to put the fragrance in just so he could ship it out. But sometimes that's what you just have to go through with small businesses. I'll try to do it so you all can also look at it. 
I don't want it to fall out. I don't even know what the picture is. Let me see here. He usually adds, yeah, that's really dope. He does these different like kind of murals. It look really cool. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. I think I have, yeah, I got it the right way. Very cool mural. Mural. Really cool like painting. He does it on like this kind of foam piece. They're, I actually try to keep them. They look really, really cool. And then we have Secret 47. Like I said, so this is a 50 ml. They don't really come in any other size, which is understandable. Uh, at least at this time, he just doesn't do it in any really other size. There's no, re there's no need to because it lasts so long. And it's not like you're wearing this fragrance every day. It's not, he doesn't make fragrances you just wear every day. Like this type of stuff can be on a special occasion or, you know, your how you feel for that day, you know. This one says, for people of many layers, blended, bottled, boxed, by hand, with love, and yes, I was correct. So 50 ml is 1.7 fluid ounces, just so you all know. Again, that's what it looks like. Nice little sleek bottle. I like the cap on it. It stays on pretty tight. That's the side there. And yeah, so let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and open the cap here. Okay, I don't really, I can't really get too much off of it. I think he might have tested it already. Uh, I don't want to spray it just yet. Give me one second. I'm going to put the box away and we'll spray it. All right, guys, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's go ahead and spray this thing. Like I said, just off the off the sprayer alone, it smells very interesting. It's like super strong. So we're going to see here. Here we go. Okay, so he did do a test spray. I'll do one more. I want to hold my breath because I don't want to smell it just yet. I just kind of want to let it aerate. Hmm, this is interesting. I don't even know really what I'm smelling right now. It's not bad, it's just very, very different. In fact, there is no fragrance that I have that I've ever smelled like this. Wow, <laughs> it's like so different, I don't even know really how to describe it. Okay, let me, let me. Wow, that is different, man. Chris, this is, this is very different. A little bit of coolingness to the, uh, on paper, it's a little bit of a little cool, coolness to the nose. I smell the ginger for sure. The ginger is definitely coming through. It's some note in here. I don't know. I don't want to say it's geranium. I don't really smell any flower notes. I do get like a little bit of the woody notes for sure. Wow, this is different, man. This might be the most different fragrance I've ever had. Like, really. Let's uh, let's see how it smells, man. This is this is just a very interesting scent. Man, the atomizer is really good too. Okay. I'll spray it one more time. I'm, I'm going to spray it one more time. We'll do it on a shirt too, just because. To see how it smells on cloth. Let's just let it aerate really quick. Hmm. Wow. 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 On skin? A hundred percent different. Doesn't. Wow. On paper, it was almost like, I don't want to say off-putting, it just was strong. And I don't know, it was some note that was just overpowering on skin, though. Oh, wow, I smell, I smell, I smell the things. I smell the things now. Let me just look at the notes one more time, because this is just so different. I smell the ginger, I smell the myrrh. Whew, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> this is the first time where I'm honestly like trying to figure out the words to explain a fragrance because it's just that different. I think this is not something if you're not if you're new in the fragrance game, you don't need to get this right now. This may be a little too advanced for you, but I will say if you're if you're looking for something different and a very nice fragrance that nobody else is going to have, check this one out because 
it's very different. I don't really know how to rate this on a scale of one to 10 right now. I will give a full review on this in the future. I know the video is already kind of long enough. I'll leave y'all with this. It is good. I don't want to say it's bad at all because I don't think it's bad. I actually do enjoy it. I think it smells really nice. I like that it's different. And I'm just trying to figure out the time of day or when I will wear this out. Definitely a more colder weather scent for sure. I, I could not see myself wearing this in the summertime, but you may be able to get away with it. I'll try it in the summertime too, just to see. I am getting a little bit of the flowery notes. Just off the bat, if I had to rate it from one to 10, it to me the highest, I'll give it a six and a half because I really don't know what to go off, go off of right now. I already know it's gonna last a long time because all its fragrances last a long time. Um, I do think Soul Cafe, now that one, go out and get that one. Soul Cafe is amazing. This one is great even if you're just getting into it, especially if you're just getting into these fragrances, get Soul Cafe. It's a great orange, citrus, woody tobacco scent. It's really good. But uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope y'all did enjoy. Thank y'all for watching. I know it's been a while. A lot of stuff has happened since I've made honestly a video. Just a lot of stuff has happened, literally. New year, it's 2024. And um, there's so much that I have in store for you all. It's not even funny. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace out.